Welcome to another Unenter Flash tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you how to create an XML image gallery where you click on your images and magically they appear. And this is a pretty cool application that you can use for a number of things. If you are an art, artist uh, showing off your work or you are somebody who creates websites, you can um, have little thumbs of your website and one the client clicks on it, they get a full or diff totally different picture. It's up to you. So let's learn how to create this. Our adventure doesn't start in Flash. It actually starts in a text editor. I'm using Notepad++, which is free to download. And if you're on the Mac, you can use something else. God knows what. So the first thing you want to do is make the XML declaration. The next thing you want to do is put your photographs or inside of a root node which I call photographs and I create these blank nodes or empty nodes because it doesn't have anything inside of the node it just has attributes one opening image and one closing image and that's it the attributes inside of it are the thumb URL and the main URL so that's it I'm gonna show you the directory and how it's set up we have our photo gallery XML file we have our XML FLA and we have the image directory where we're getting all of our images from. And last but not least, we have the create thumb AS, which is what I'm going to show you how to get right now. I'm going to have a link inside of my information so you can go to my website and download this action script file, which is a class. So let's get started. The first thing you want to do is go to file. And once you go to file, click on new. Now this isn't like before. What you want to do is click on Action Script File. And once you click on Action Script File, press OK. You should see just a big blank area. So what you want to do now is click on that link to go to my website to copy the content. So you'll scroll down and it'll say Create Thumb Class. And what you'll do is right click, select all, and then copy it. And once it's copied, you can go back into Flash and paste it. So it'll end up something like this. All this code, all this fancy stuff. So the thing you want to do is name that and save it as the same name as the class. The name of this class is Create Capital T 8 Capital T Thumb. So Create Thumb is what you want to copy. And we're going to save it as, so go to File save as make sure it's in the same directory so find your directory and name it create thumb dot as and save it in the same directory now that we're finished we can close it so now we're going to create our XML image file or dot FLA don't worry everything will be able to download on my website which I'll send have links to what I have to do is create an action script 3 layer and that's it I'm not making a content like usual so just an action script 3 layer, you can lock it, click on your frame, and let's start coding inside of the frame. Now the thing that you just did was basically copy and paste a class. A class is a set of code that you're probably going to use over and over again. I created it, I couldn't explain it, but unfortunately YouTube only gave me 10 minutes to say what I want to say, so i got to use my time as wisely as possible. So once you get inside, make sure you save your uh, your FLA in the same directory as that action script file you just saved. So let's get into the code. The first variable you want to create an XML file, a brand new spanking XML file. Then you want to create something that holds the number of image. I called it image count and data typed it to a U integer. Next, you want to create a loader, a URL loader, and set it to new URL loader. The next variable is an image holder and we want to assign that to a sprite and we want to equal that to a new sprite. We also want a variable called stage width and we want to set it to the stage dot width and we also want to add the image holder. We want to add child the image holder so it will show up. Now we're going to create this function which will load in the XML and after it loads in the XML it takes it and spits it into that XML variable we created. So what you're going to do is type in function XML load E colon event and we want to void. It's not returning anything. 
and we're going to say XML E dot target dot data and we're going to put that in parentheses at XML and assign it to the XML variable we just created. The next thing we want to do is get the XML dot image dot length minus one is equal to the count. Now this code here is where we already assigned the XML. Now we're using the dot syntax to get into the image node that we have and we're counting how many of those images we have available using the same name as the XML. Then we subtract it by one and now we have the amount of images we need. Now we're going to use now we're going to go through a for loop and this for loop if you know how to create one for you create a var you set it to a u integer equal to zero if i is less than image count i plus plus. Now this is where that action that action script file we just copied and pasted comes in handy. We set this new variable called thumb. Excuse me, we set it to the type sprite. We data type it to sprite and we set it to a new create thumb. Remember that create thumb? What we need to do is put in the image holder. Remember that blank sprite that we created in the beginning. And between the sh we're going to put this XML argument between a string parentheses so it's XML remember the XML file dot image dot I this is where it gets counted down and we're reading the thumb URL attribute and we're doing the same thing but for the main image again so we have we put in a sprite the thumb and the main URL to the image the next thing we want to do is we want to make the M we want to make each thumb move over a certain amount of space. Since I set the thumb to 200 by 200 pixels, we want it to move every time it adds one to I, we want to multiply it by 205. So it'll move across the so its own size plus five. Then we want to add that thumb to the image holder sprite that we created in the beginning. The next thing, we're still inside that function, is we want the stage we want to add an event listener to the stage which is the enter frame for the mouse scroll this basically is that effect where the mouse is moving left and right so the next logical thing is to create that function mouse scroll and in that mouse scroll we have a, a var a variable called ihw which is i just image holder width which is more than just the image holder width this is a, a, a formula I'm going to try to explain as quick as possible. This formula allows you to basically, um, you, you're getting the width and you subtract it by the stage, you add 100 to it, and what you get is your height, your, excuse me, you get your width plus 100. So that means you have a little extra space, so you get to see a little bit of black instead of being right to the border. And then we multiply that by negative one, which which helps us out in this percentage code down here. We take that image height width and we multiply it by the percentage of where the mouse is on the stage width, and then we add it to 50. Now that 100 gets divided, so it's kind of like 50 and 50. So these two numbers basically make it how much space do you have on either side. So if I put it up to 200 and 100, it'd basically be 100 s pixels free on both sides. After that, we take that percent and we assign it to the image holder X. Last but not least, we load. Remember that loader we created? Well, we load in the loader. So we put loader.load, new URL request, photogallery.xml. And we also say, okay after you've loaded that I want you to um, once it's complete I want you to do go to the XML loaded which that function that we've gone through which um, the XML loaded up here which takes all the XML data and spits it out so basically what's happening here is that the real work is going on inside of that action script file you downloaded and copied and pasted um, you can examine that file and you can look through it I created it but unfortunately, since I don't really have a lot of time to explain everything inside of it, just know that that file is what's doing all the hard labor. But you're creating that, that, that event where your mouse is able to move across left and right, giving it that feel. And when you click, 
everything inside the action script file is making it work. This is pretty awesome because nothing in here, there's nothing inside the timeline. It's basically all coding to make just a beautiful XML gallery. And the tweening is pretty awesome. You can take a look. Thanks for watching this on Enter Flash tutorial. If you like these videos, just make sure that you subscribe, rate, comment. Also, go to my website. You'll get the FLA. You can download the file. Try it out yourself. So don't get too worried. And um, just have a lot of fun coding. And if you really love these tutorials, go to my website. Click on an ad or two. Put a few pennies in my pocket. Thanks for watching.